state space analysis in the control systems. So let us start with our topic. In control systems, there are two techniques. One is the conventional technique and the other is the modern technique. These techniques are used for the analysis and design of the control systems. The conventional technique for the analysis and design of control system was based on the transfer function and the modern technique, it is based on the state space analysis of the system. So this state space analysis, it is also known as the modern technique of the control systems. So this is a very useful technique for the analysis and design of the control systems. Now, as we know that the systems, they can be linear or non-linear, they can be time variant or time invariant, single input, single output systems or multi-input, multi-output systems. So these, uh, this state space analysis technique, it can be applied on linear, non-linear, time variant, time invariant and single input, single output systems and multi-input, multi-output systems. So we can say that this state space analysis technique it can be applied to any type of systems whereas we have the conventional technique which is based on the transfer function and that technique can be applied only to the linear time invariant single input single output systems so there is no such restriction in this state space analysis technique So this is the advantage of the state space analysis that it can be applied to any type of systems. Now, what is this state space representation or state space analysis of a system? In state space analysis, a system is represented by A system is represented by a mathematical model and this mathematical model consists of a set of input, output and the state variables. And these variables, input, output and state variables, they are related by first order differential equations. So this is the state space analysis. So in, uh, in state space analysis, what we are doing, we are representing a system by a set of input output and state variables and these is variables they are related to each other by a first order differential equations now as i have said that the state space analysis technique it is the modern control technique and it is better than the conventional technique so let us study some of the differences between these two approaches that is the modern approach and the conventional approach
Now, this conventional approach is also known as the conventional control theory and the modern approach is known as the modern control theory. Now, conventional uh, approach, it was based on the, it was a frequency domain approach, whereas this modern approach, it is the time domain approach. The second difference between the two is that the conventional approach, it is based on transfer function of the system, whereas this modern approach, it is based on the state variables, based on input, output and state variables. Third difference is that the conventional approach, it can be applied only to the linear time invariant systems, whereas the modern approach, it can be applied to any type of system. Now, this conventional approach, it is using the Laplace transform of the system, whereas the modern approach, it uses the Z transform of the system. So, conventional approach, it uses Laplace transform. And the modern approach, it uses Z transform. So, these are the differences of between the conventional approach and the modern approach the conventional approach was the time uh, frequency domain approach and based on the transfer function and the modern approach it is a time domain approach based on the input state and the output variables now what are the advantages of this state space analysis let us see The advantages of state space analysis that first advantage is that it is a time domain approach. So it is easy to apply because uh, if the frequency response of a system is difficult to obtain, so we can easily use this state space analysis because time response is easily available. Now. The second advantage is that it can be applied to any type of system like applied to any type of system whether it is linear, non-linear, time variant, time invariant or single input, single output or multi-input or multi-output systems. Third advantage is that it can be easily applied because it uses the Z transform and it can be easily used in the conditions where Laplace transform of a system is difficult to obtain. Now, the fourth advantage is that in the state space analysis, we have uh, written that in the, we have studied in the definition that the input and the state variables and output variables, they are related to each other by first order differential equations. So, if there are n variables, then we have n uh, differential equations. So, the, the solution or the uh, solution of these differential equation it is very easy in this state space analysis so the solution of the equations becomes easy if there is n for the differential equation
Now, as this is the state space analysis, it is a time domain approach. So, the we can easily use uh, this state space analysis technique in through the computers. So, digital computation of the of this approach is easy. So these are the advantages of the state space analysis. Okay, let's summarize it that it is a time domain approach. It can be applied to any type of system. It can be used where Laplace transform is difficult to obtain because it uses Z transform. Any third order differential equations, they can be expressed as N equations of first order whose solutions is easy. And it is also suitable for the digital computation because it is a time domain approach. So in this video, we have studied about the modern approach of the analysis and design of control systems. And this modern approach is known as the state space analysis. Then we have studied the difference between this state space analysis or the modern approach and the conventional approach. And in the last, we studied the advantages of the state space analysis. So I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.